fragile. I feel pain. I hurt. I open my eyes. I create. I conquer. I hold the power. I'm a thinker. I crave victory. I do not give up. I feel no fear. I fear no man. I'm an athlete, a warrior, an artist. If you can begin to harness yourself and say that where I am, I'm going to do the best I can with what I got because that is an expression of who I am. If you get into the habit of just being mediocre, it will become a part of your consciousness. If you get in the habit of giving less than what you have it within you to give, it will begin to reflect itself in your personality. It will begin to damage you psychologically. And you don't want to be a part of that kind of self-destructive behavior. And so you want to set some high standards for yourself. The next thing, part of what feeds that hunger You've got to develop a sense of urgency. Aurelia said, stop living your life like you have a thousand years to live. In life, you're either here today and you're gone today. If there's something that you want to do and you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. I like what Robert Schuller said. He said, by the yard it's hard, but inch by inch anything is a cinch. How much time do you have left? Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got. Using ourselves up. Sharing what we brought into the universe to share. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Stop wasting valuable time. Knowing that if we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take on, take on a whole new meaning. If you decide to maintain a sense of integrity with yourself, that if I speak it, I'm going to live it. It's who I am. And I'm going to be very cautious in how I give my word to others, and most of all with the commitments that I make to myself. Because I want my life to reflect my words and honoring who I am and what I express.